Hi everyone, my name is James Smith and I'm with the UCO AMA, the University of Central Oklahoma American Marketing Association. I'm really excited to show you Constant Contact. It's one of the, the leading small to medium sized business email marketing tools out right now. And what really makes Constant Contact special is its shareability, its integration of social media with email marketing. Start things out. You'll, you'll want to go into your contacts list. So how do you add contacts? It's just as easy as adding and updating. So here's a couple of things that might help you out. You can either paste in your email addresses, which if you've got a, just a, a block full of you know two or three hundred email addresses without any names, this is a great place to just stick them in here and get them on the list and get the email sent out to them. I'll tell you the difference though between typing in the email addresses with, uh, with having a a first name and a and a last name in there and, and and just pasting straight up email addresses in there is uh, is is really your uh, a difference in engagement. Whenever you're doing this, you're allowing yourself. Um, we've all gotten those emails that say, "Sincerely, James, we really appreciate your blah 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 blah." Hey, they use my name. How'd they know it? But then there's also this way where you're just pasting in the email addresses. Instead of saying sincerely James, it'll just say sincerely comma or sincerely. We really appreciate your blah 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 blah. So we want to use their first name and their last name or sincerely Mr. Smith. You know, however you want that template to go, however you want to, to, to send out those emails. But I would recommend using a first name and a last name. You can also upload from an Excel sheet. So if you've been keeping all of your contacts, all of your prospects in an Excel sheet, this is a really easy way to just add them in real quick. Your Gmail address. This gives you the opportunity to use your Gmail um, to create the list. All you have to do, select the list that you want it to go in. I want this to go into UCOAMA. And then click on Continue to Gmail. You can use a different account. And then you just sign in. Or if you have uh, Outlook or you want to use your CRM for your business, Customer Relationship Management, Outlook, Outlook Express, Sage, Salesforce, uh, QuickBooks, Contact Capture Tool, all of these different uh, uh, tools, you can integrate your existing contacts. So that is a, that's a really easy way to add your different contacts in there. Let's see here, um, there's a reports function. Now this is a really handy function. This allows you to see you know, what's been happening on your constant contact every month. You can export your contacts. You can manage your bounces. This is really important. You don't want your bounces lowering your, uh, your rate because these people aren't getting it. They're not getting the email, so they're not having the opportunity to open it. Therefore, you're not getting an accurate level of engagement coming from this. So you want to remove those, or do not mail them. So you can also check out your categories. Sorry, your activities. Okay, I've had 61 export bounces. Now what I did with this is I exported those bounces so that I could email these people individually and say, hey, for some reason, your email addresses aren't, you know, your email, well, let's see here. Obviously, if they're bouncing, it's not going to do you any good to, 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 to email the uh, the bounce list, but these came off of a list of uh, a, a group of contacts that were um, um, that were blocked by the server, and so I looked into it deeper and, and found out that those were the bounces. If you want to grow your contact list, this is a great way right here. You can um, you can use your uh, uh, you can customize a form, create a link on your website, uh, install a Facebook application, set up text to join, um, customize a welcome email. Update your profile email, change the interest email, um, select the schedule. You can even send reports. Okay?
And uh, that being said, we're gonna we're gonna jump into uh, uh, to uh, the custom. Um, and, and what you can do here is, and what I would recommend doing, let's go ahead and say, um, let's call it constant contact rocks. All right, now the email name is constant contact rocks. Now we need to go through here and find something that, don't look at the colors, don't look at the, uh, you can change all of that. Don't look at the pictures, that doesn't matter. Look at the way that these emails are set up, okay? Let's find something that's useful to us, that really is, is something that we can build off of. Okay, and after you search through here and find it, we've already got a custom one, so I'm going to go back to mine. And add, oh, let's do this. Copy of constant contact. January newsletter. So here we are in the brand new section of it. Okay, subject, January newsletter, from name, you get to pick what it's coming from, okay, from email address. You have to upgrade these or verify these, but uh, but once you do, you can use them forever. Permission reminder, web page version. This is a really awesome, awesome, awesome tool. This is a part of that integration of social media that I was talking about. You can take that link you can share it on your Facebook. You can share it anywhere. But look at this. It's a, it's a web page from your newsletter. This allows people to join the list, allows people to share it on social media. Uh, you can tweet. You can send a message. You can do all these different really cool things with it. Okay? And, uh, and you want to check the box for forward an email. Subscribe to me. Or allow people to subscribe to you. Okay, next, okay, and now you can change the way that this looks. Okay, so you can go in here and you can change the, the logo, you can add in pictures, and, and like I said earlier with the templates, you start out, doesn't, don't, look at the, don't look at the color, don't look at the pictures. You're going to go in here, you're going to select those pictures that you don't like, and then you're just going to delete them. You're going to delete them, you're going to change it to the color. You, I, would, uh, I say to, to use your organization's colors, that they spend a lot of money on creating uh, that brand, um, use it. It looks sharp. It looks professional. It's the easiest way to design something that looks sh looks professional. Uh, it doesn't take uh, doesn't take a, a very in intelligent person to uh, uh, to just or a very creative person to um, to create something that looks very good, very professional um, for your company. Use the colors. Use the standard colors. Then you can go through here. Change up the content that's in here. Maybe you want to add a link. Maybe you want to. Here's the custom colors. You can type it in here. You, this is what we use. We use the hex, um, and and literally, um, once you know what what your company's colors are, normally they have a graphic standards guide that, guide that you can use. Um, search your company, say uh, for University of Central Oklahoma. I'll go over here, and I'll type in. University of Central Oklahoma Graphics Standard Guide. Whoa, look at that. It's the Graphic Standards Guide. Just like that. Now I can pull it up. And it tells me exactly what I can and cannot use. How about that? Not only that, but it gives us the exact colors. Okay, this is secondary colors for website use. Whoa. Okay, PowerPoint templates. It tells us that we can't jack around with these type of logos. This is really common sense. Well, after you look at a graphic standards guide. It tells you all the old logos. It tells you what we use now. But anyway, search your company graphic standard guide. And if it's a large company, they probably have it. If it's a small company, if you're the business owner, get it. Let people know what they can and can't use. People will help you share content online. Let's not get too far from what we're doing here. Let's go back to constant contact. 
And, uh, and this is very user friendly. I mean, you just click on a box. If you want to add another one, look at that. Bam. Copy box. Look at there. Now we have two boxes. We don't need two of those, though. Let's go ahead and delete one. All right. And, uh, and now you can preview and test. I always say to preview and test. You want to preview and test these. And send it. And then here it is. Okay. So we're looking through. All right. That looks good. I don't see any typos. I recommend sending it to uh, to a couple other people. It's just like you know that paper that that you were writing for for your English class. You know, make sure there's no typos. But hey, you're probably not the best person to look for typos. I mean, you just made it. So send it to a couple of your friends. Have them look over it. It'll say this is a test email only at the bottom. But it shows you you can this is you know what it looks like exactly what it looks like only with that and uh, and this allows your 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 prospects to to unsubscribe if uh, the the email is you know not of interest to them um, but you also get campaign statistics holy cow 482 cent 93 bounces 86 opens six social shares I tell you what that's some great stuff for that some great information for you to know for you to understand you know how your uh, how your business is going um, or how your email contacts are are responding to your emails see so you save and continue you click the list that it's going to click on next and you got three options you can draft it you can send it now and you can schedule it I recommend scheduling it Schedule it three or four days in advance. That gives you two or three days to sleep on it and make sure that there's no problems. It gives your friends two or three days to look over and make sure there's no issues there. The simple share, this is awesome, awesome utility. Go in here, just select which social media you want to share it on. You can customize the logo, customize the picture. Let's do marketing club logo. Where is it? There it is. Insert image. Okay. Now I can customize this area. UCO AMA January newsletter. Come to this meeting if you want a paid marketing internship. Bam! And you're done. You have a fully customized share option for your social media done done so look at that professional and simple super simple you always want to share this you you want to share this and then you just click on finish and you are done you're done with that so now it's set to draft okay see you can also uh, uh, you can send it now and it'll it'll wait 15 minutes before it actually sends it out. So that's good. That gives you you know 15 minutes uh, to do. It. But like I said, you want to focus on on scheduling. Um, but that's going to conclude my uh, my first tutorial for uh, for constant contact. I really hope this is has been helpful for you. And uh, and I'd I'd love for you to visit my website at jamesboysmith.com. And uh, uh, with that being said, uh, go Broncos.